I've been living and breathing photography for the last 25 years. It's always been more about the experience of taking the photograph than the photograph itself. The last time I was on the Pecha Kucha stage in 2008, I described my process on a granular scale, how I would position my camera to best harness the energy of the scene. I would visualize the light particles traveling to me, entering my lens, going past my shutter into the black void of the camera before recording on the CCD sensor. When I visualize light on this atomic scale, I feel completely present and connected to something infinitely larger than myself. My photography practice is a spiritual practice. I've always known that my photographs have a meditative quality to them. It really wasn't until three years ago when I started practicing conscious breathing that I realized the complete association between photography and meditation and the power, the transformative power of the camera. And I realized that I've been meditating without meditating for the last 25 years. <laughs> Since then, I've further deciphered my process, and I've developed a, a framework for photography as meditation. Since then, it's reignited my creativity, and it's also, I believe, has allowed me to be more present with my son, my son Luke, and be a more empathetic husband to my wife Mar. This is so exciting because every one of you are carrying cameras with you right now. And so I'm going to tell you about this process. I'm going to share it with you tonight in hopes that you use it to create more presence in your life, perhaps. There are six tenets of photography as meditation. OK, so let's go. There's tenet one, explore without expectation. So this is foundational. There are no good or bad photographs when practicing mindful photography. It's about exploring, period. Expectations served us well when we were hunting and gathering, and more recently when we were in our childhood. Expectations are hardwired in our brain. So how do we, how do we let go of that right-wrong mindset and go past that limiting belief? We replace the expectation with the intention, and the intention is to explore, only explore. This way we can access new results. Tenant to observe with curiosity, see with fresh eyes. We've all experienced many individual moments, mostly all repeating versions of the past. So how do we see the world through fresh eyes like a, like a child and access that wonder and awe? Curiosity is not always there. We need to engage it. We need to engage it by asking questions. I suggest we ask simple questions, but quickly move to more complicated ones with answers we can't answer, like, Ocean, tell me, what do you know about women? <laughs> Ten and three, employ all five senses. Sight is our most dominant sense for most of us. The other remaining senses aren't necessarily connected to photography. We don't think so. This one, it, it may feel a little inauthentic, but I suggest that when you go out with your camera exploring that you treat this like a checklist. What is it that I smell? What is it that I hear? What do I taste when I breathe in? What I've come to realize is that when we do this, our brains release chemicals, and these chemicals heighten our awareness. And that awareness, it takes a minute or two, but once it floods our body, we're more, we're, it's easier to stay focused and, and connected. And once we're connected, that's when we go to see the light, acknowledge the shadow. This is where we see the light on that macro scale, the beauty of the light, the subtle gradation across the subject, the color temperature of this light or that light, the reflection in the puddle. There's 
infinite portals all around us capable of dissolving time. It's the conscious perception of light that allows us to go to tenant five, which is enter the zone, go with the flow. This is where we want to be. You've all been there before, at the lab, pulling an all-nighter, working on something groundbreaking, totally inspired. The paint is flowing from your brush. The code is writing itself. There's nothing to do here other than to just feel the feeling and how good it feels to be connected to that creative energy. You deserve this. I deserve this. Just feel it, go with it, enjoy it. This will inevitably lead you to tenant six, which is gratitude, give thanks. Give thanks to your subjects. Give thanks to the, the trees, to the stars, to the sun, to the moon, to the buildings, to the bridges, to the machines, to the people. I feel, and use your voice, even if it's just a whisper. Use your voice, because I feel that it's the expression of gratitude which locks these feelings of connection into our bodies and when repeated daily or weekly allows, ends up showing up in other parts of our life. So photography as meditation has been groundbreaking for me and I hopefully I've inspired you to use your cameras and hopefully go out and explore the world and find a little piece of you reflected in it because it's beautiful. So thank you, every single one of you, thank you, thank you.